Let's head to the court now because more victims have testified in the ongoing war defilement case. On Wednesday, the court was scheduled to take testimony from a medical doctor and the investigator. But prosecution rather presented more victims, including one who is a relative of the accused. Our Upper West Regional Correspondent Latif Bahama has the rest of the story. Among the new witnesses, one particular heart-wrenching detail emerged. A niece of the accused, Ahmed Rashid, bravely recounted her ordeal on the stand. As in previous hearings, Wednesday's session was held in camera to protect the identities of the minors involved. The young girls took turns, narrating how 35-year-old Ahmed Rashid, known as Anata, manipulated and coerced them into a series of deeply distressing sexual encounters. Today we are, we brought in two more dockets and then he pleaded not guilty to the charges that were leveled against him. So we opened our case. Three girls testified in respect of one case. All of them gave out their story of how they had had threesome on numerous occasions with the accused person. In cross-examination, he denied, but all of them stood by their story, and that was how we ended that one. We called the second docket, and Anna Lindley came up. Her testimony was quite graphic. What particularly caught all of us who were in court, what caught our attention was this one that her, the accused person's niece, as the sister's daughter, also testified against him. And he himself admitted that that was his niece. And the girl, in response to one question, said that you knew very well that I was your daughter and you were having sexual intercourse with me all this while under the pretext of paying for my, my mother and my sick twin. According to Sayyid Abdul Shakur, the court was originally slated to hear testimonies from a medical doctor and a police investigator. However, the gravity of the victim's stories prompted a shift in focus towards these emotional accounts when the two gave reasons why they could not be in court. When we contacted the hospital, the investigator was not, the medical doctor was not in town. He'll be in town on Monday, so we have to adjourn to Tuesday. So Tuesday he'll be available to testify. The investigator too also lost his father and is gone to bury the father this weekend. So he too was not, was not available. So he will also be available on Tuesday. Out of the abundance of caution, we want to put it on Tuesday so that we can just be sure we have them to testify. The proceedings were adjourned until Thursday as more victims are expected to take the stand and share their experiences. This ongoing trial serves as a stark reminder of the importance of addressing and preventing such heinous crimes against minors. Reporting for City News, my name is Latif Mahama. Wah.